Welcome to Quarantine with Clark, the show that asks West Dodge Station staff questions kids want to know and some they might not want to know. Today we have a special theme day. It is Husker Day. And my guest today is Mr. Kassmeyer, one of our wonderful fifth grade teachers. Mr. Kassmeyer, welcome to the show. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you, Mr. Clark? I'm doing well. Thank you. Um, I, I just want to ask you a few questions just so that the kids can get to know you just a little bit better. Is that okay? Perfect. Let's do it. Awesome. So the first thing, um, where were you born and raised? I was born in Fremont, Nebraska. I lived there until I was five. And then my family moved to a farm outside of Scribner, Nebraska, um, where I grew up. So you actually know, you knew Mrs. Pribb now before, uh, before she even became a teacher, right? I did, yes. Yes, right. we went to the same high school together, small town. Yep, very small town. Uh, do you very have any small. brothers and sisters? I have two brothers. I have an older brother and a younger brother. Uh, my older brother is four years older than me. My younger brother is three years younger than me. So I'm right, I'm right in the middle. So kind of spread out all over, all over everywhere. Right. Right. Um, what about kids? Do you have any kids at home? I do. I have two kiddos, uh, Garrett and Grayley. Uh, Garrett is three and a half and Grayley is, oh, about 15 months old. So. Oh, good. Um, pets. Do you have any pets at home? I have two dogs, Mia and Milo. Mia is a K's hound. Uh, looks like Keon. And then uh, Milo is a Palmerine a rescue. Nice. So between the pets and the kids, you and your wife are extremely busy because I know your wife is also a teacher. So uh, you guys are all pulling double duty, triple duty, quadruple duty this whole time, aren't you? Oh, yeah. I don't know which one's more work, the dogs or the kids. Could go... <laughs> Boys, someday, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Um, what about hobbies? Other than the kids and the pets, what do you do for a hobby? Um, yeah, I like to do is golf in the summer. So I will get out if I can this summer to go golfing. Um, I also like to try new restaurants with my wife. Um, bringing the kids can be challenging with that, but uh, it's still fun. Um, nice. Also, just like to get outside and be outside. Um, I was raised on a farm, so I like to go back and check out the cattle that my dad's raising too, so. Awesome. So outside of having kids and getting married, what has been the most exciting moment of your life? Um, I was trying to think of these, and one of the things that I would say is played in the state championship game for basketball when I was in high school. Uh, that was super exciting. Um, other times, just, well, we won a we golf tournament one time, me and some buddies. So that was super exciting too. That's awesome. Um, hidden talents, uh, obviously athletic. Do you have any other hidden talents that people don't know about? Um, I would say I'm really good at fixing things. Um, I kind of can MacGyver a lot of things. So if something's broke, I can usually somewhat find a solution on how to fix it, put something <laughs> back together. So. Nice. I, I, I like the MacGyver reference. You can MacGyver oh, yes. things, turn it into a verb. <laughs> right, right. Exactly. So other than education, if you could do any job you want, um, what job would you do? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, I guess for me, if I would, I'd probably be a professional golfer. Uh, oh, nice. It just seems like something that would be super fun. You get to fly around, you get to play around in golf, and that's how you earn your living. Um, although that's probably not super realistic. Um, I would... <laughs> Um, probably uh, be a cattle farmer, which seems very country or hickish, if you will, but uh, it's something I enjoy doing. So Nice. So then growing up and, and on a farm, I imagine you did a lot of different jobs, but growing up, what was the strangest or oddest job that you had? You know, I watched Mrs. Peterson's video and she said that she mowed a cemetery. I as well mowed a cemetery. And in fact, my younger brother still mows that cemetery. Um, so that was kind of a it was kind of creepy because once in a while we'd mow it when it would get a little darker. Um, so that was kind of goofy. Um, but grow up, growing up on a farm, one of the, I guess, grosser jobs would be scooping out the cattle pens or the cattle barns, um, getting rid of the manure in there. So those were kind of gross. Yeah, that would definitely be. And, and the, the cemetery would definitely be something that uh, when it gets a little dark, it would definitely get a little bit creepy. Um, so getting into some of the, the more fun questions here. Um, do you sing loudest in the shower, in the car, or equally both as loud? 
Um, I would definitely say in the car, just because nobody else can hear me. Uh, I'm not saying that I'm a bad singer. I'm just uh, kind of conscientious, I guess, or nervous about what people think about my singing. So, so then you're more of a windows up type of singer. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, for that's, sure. A, that's what a lot of people have said. Okay, so now when we uh, or, or or when you sing karaoke, what would be your go-to karaoke song? Oh, my go-to has always been "Friends in Low Places." That is actually funny because Mrs. King, I believe, said the exact same thing. Um, oh, nice, you, nice. You guys, I, I am keeping everybody's answers for this. So when all this is over and we all come back together as a staff, guess where we're going and guess what everybody's doing. Everybody's going to oh, be nice. their own nice. karaoke song. So maybe you can do a duet with, uh, with Mrs. King. Perfect. It's just one of those that everybody in the bar or wherever we are, a restaurant, we can uh, sing along. Absolutely. So uh, if we're talking about superpowers, invisibility or be able to fly. Um, I would say be able to fly because I'm sitting in traffic. Um, I get pretty impatient sometimes if the light doesn't turn red fast enough. So being able to fly to get where I need to go. That totally, totally makes sense. Okay. Getting into the lightning round. I'm going to ask right. you a series of questions very, very quickly. You have to give me your answer as quick as possible, but they're all about your favorite things, so it should be relatively easy, okay? Sounds good. All right, here we go. What is your favorite food and drink? Uh, food, I would say steak, probably Dr. Pepper or iced tea. Your favorite word? My favorite word is connoisseur. Ooh, connoisseur. Hmm. Oh, yes, very fancy, <laughs> very fancy. What is your favorite sound? Um, my favorite sound would be rain, like the sound of rain. Good. Your favorite smell? Favorite smell. Well, let's see. Probably cut grass. A lot of people have said cut grass. I think that's probably the top, top answer from everybody. Your favorite yeah. type of music? Oh, I like all types of music. Um, probably listen the most to country. I know growing up, I was probably more into the hip hop. Um, so I kind of like all types of music. A little bit of everything. Favorite place to visit? Um, well, it seems like we go to Kansas City or try to at least once or twice a year. So I would probably say Kansas City. Uh, my sister-in-law lives down in Kansas City, so it's nice to go visit her too. Nice. And we always check out the Royals and the zoo and a lot of things down there. Awesome. And then finally, your favorite fifth grade teacher named Clark. Ooh. I think his name might be Mr. Lake Clark. Ugh. I think that's, I think that's it. That's fine. All right. We're done. <laughs> we just have a, a couple right. more questions just to wrap things up. Uh, first of all, what are you doing to beat the boredom during our social distancing time away from school? Um, playing a lot with my kiddos, kind of chasing them around. They wrestle with me, chase me around, um, keep them entertained. They keep me entertained. Um, watching some Netflix, getting some shows watched, um, and just hanging out. Awesome. And then finally, what would you like to say to the kids from West Dodge Station? Hey, kiddos. I miss you. Um, looking forward to seeing you soon, and we'll, we'll all get through this. It's going to be going to be okay. All right. Uh, I just want to give a huge thank you to Mr. Kassemeyer for joining me today on Husker Day. Um, visit us again next time for Quarantine with Clark. See you soon. Thank you, Mr. Clark. See ya.